Welcome to this tutorial on how to move images and objects around the screen during playback in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, what I specifically want to do in this video is make a pink elephant move around in a drunkard's point of view. As you can see, I've already created the drunkard's point of view and I've placed the pink elephant in it and also made it fade in and out. Now, what I want to do is make it move around on the screen during playback. And the way to do that is by working with keyframes. So I'm already in here in transform and that's where I want to be. If you want to do this, you have to click add keyframe. By clicking add keyframe, you tell Final Cut Pro 10 that you want some kind of specific action to take place at the place that you have designated on the timeline. And we are starting at the beginning of the clip now. We tell Final Cut Pro that we want the elephant to have a certain size. Right now it's invisible because it's opaque. I've shown how to do that in another tutorial. But this is where it starts. So now all you need to do is move this cursor along the timeline and then you just have to drag the elephant around up here. So what you do now is that you tell at this point Final Cut should know that the elephant needs to be up here. Now you just move this cursor again. You can drag the elephant somewhere else. Over here for instance. Maybe make it go a bit bigger. And you just continue to do so however it suits you. Make it go smaller again. So naturally, in any kind of serious movie, I wouldn't make a pink elephant move around in a drunkard's point of view because that would just be unrealistic and is basically something that belongs maybe in a comedy. But since this is a tutorial, we'll just feel free to do however it pleases us. So now we've made a pink elephant move around in a drunkard's vision. Let's see how it looks. There. Maybe it's actually more of an acid trip. But anyhow, the elephant moves around and that's the point of this tutorial.